award-winning actor Lee Sun Kyun has died. The popular South Korean performer made history with the cast of the movie Parasite. When Parasite actor Lee Sun Kyun was found dead in his car in Seoul, many netizens assumed it had been the last drop after years of abusing destructive substances. But it was much worse than that. The rumors were a lie, and his death came after he was systematically destroyed by two evil people who wanted to extort him of money and ruin his career. A woman in her late 20s has been arrested for blackmailing Parasite film actor Lee Sun Kyun for 50 million won or $39,000. She was identified as a tipster who handed over evidence incriminating a nightclub manager of illegal drug use that started the police investigation against Lee. Lee's tragic death just after Christmas 2023 sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and sparked intense public debate about the pressures of celebrity, the dangers of blackmail, and the sometimes cruel and reckless nature of media coverage and online discourse surrounding public figures accused of misconduct. As we delve into Lee's tragic case, let's explore everything that led to it, all that followed, and why we have to exercise more kindness toward public figures. 48-year-old Lee Sun Kyun was best known for his acclaimed performance as the wealthy patriarch in Bong Joon-ho's Oscar-winning film, Parasite. A versatile and well-respected actor, he had amassed a large body of work over his career and was widely considered one of the nation's top acting talents. Lee was born in Seoul in 1975, and he discovered his passion for acting while studying at the Korea National University of Arts. His professional debut came in the form of a music video in 1999, but it was his roles in the popular Korean dramas Coffee Prince and Behind the White Tower in 2007 that made him a household name in his home country. Lee's versatility as an actor was further showcased through his lead roles in the 2010 romantic comedy series Pasta, the 2012 thriller Helpless, and the 2018 psychological drama My Mister. However, it was his captivating performance in the 2019 thriller Parasite that catapulted Lee to global stardom. In the film, he portrayed the head of a wealthy family with much of the story unfolding within their house. Parasite made his History at the 2020 Academy Awards, winning four awards, including the coveted Best Picture, becoming the first non-English language film to achieve this feat. Lee and his fellow cast members were also honored with a Screen Actors Guild Award for their outstanding performances. In 2022, Lee's talent was once again recognized when he was nominated for Best Actor at the International Emmy Awards for his role in the sci-fi thriller Dr. Brain. Sun Kyun was also known as a devoted family man, married to actress John Hye Jin with two young sons. On December 27, 2023, however, everything changed. Lee was found deceased in his car near a park in Seoul. Authorities stated that all signs pointed to suicide by carbon monoxide poisoning. The actor left behind a note resembling a will, apologizing for the trouble he had caused and expressing a sense of hopelessness about his situation. I cannot do anything else. There is no other way but this. The financial penalties for breaching advertising and movie contracts are overwhelming. I am sorry. Lee's death came at the end of an agonizing two-month investigation into allegations of drug use that had played out in the public eye. The police probe began began in October when a female manager of an upscale room salon club in Seoul's wealthy Gangnam district claimed that Lee had used drugs, including propofol and cocaine, on the premises. The actor adamantly denied ever using illegal substances and pledged his full cooperation with the investigation to clear his name. In an early press conference outside the police station, a somber Lee bowed deep in apology, his voice trembling as he expressed remorse for causing public concern, disappointing his fans, and bringing hardship to his family through this scandal. He vowed to faithfully comply with the investigation to resolve the matter. Well, I apologize to everyone who has believed in and supported me. He continued, 
As stated through my agency, my stance on actively cooperating with the investigation agency remains unchanged. However, despite Lee's consistent denials and a series of drug tests that failed to turn up evidence of narcotics use, the police investigation only seemed to intensify over the ensuing weeks. Authorities subjected Lee to multiple rounds of lengthy and grueling interrogations, including one that lasted 19 hours, sparking concerns about the aggressiveness of their tactics and the fairness of the probe. Media coverage of the scandal was relentless, with Lee's name making headlines daily. Outlets competed for scoops and published a slew of unverified rumors and salacious details about the actor's personal life. Pundits opined on his guilt, picking apart his demeanor and parsing his statements for signs of deception. The frenzy reached a fever pitch when reporters staked out Lee's home and followed his every move, thrusting his distraught wife and confused young children into the harsh glare of the spotlight. As the weeks ground on without a resolution, public opinion turned sharply against Lee. Online communities buzzed with outrage and condemnation, their users seeming to revel in tearing down a successful star. Strangers felt free to denounce Lee as a liar, a criminal, and a hypocrite, citing the unproven allegations as fact. Few voices urged caution or empathy or acknowledged the psychological toll the situation must be taking on Lee and his loved ones. The scandal soon took a dark darker turn when it emerged that Lee was also the victim of an alleged blackmail scheme. A woman in her late 20s has been arrested for blackmailing Parasite film actor Lee Sun Yoon for 50 million won or $39,000. She was identified as a tipster who handed over evidence incriminating a nightclub manager of illegal drug use that started the police investigation against Lee. Two women, the salon manager and a friend, were said to be demanding enormous sums of money in exchange for their silence about Lee's supposed misdeeds. Leaked recordings of phone conversations appeared to show the women pressuring an increasingly desperate Lee to pay them off, lest they take their stories to the media and destroy his career for good. The women first met the nightclub manager with a past criminal convictions in prison. They were known to be very close and even lived in the same studio apartment building. Yet the police investigation continued to zero in on the drug allegations, while Lee's status as a potential extortion victim was seemingly relegated to a side issue. Pundits noted the apparent unfairness of authorities refusing to take Lee's blackmail claims seriously, while simultaneously subjecting him to a probing criminal inquisition based solely on the uncorroborated claims of his alleged extorters. Throughout the ordeal, Lee paid a steep price professionally and personally. Once beloved by the public, he saw his reputation sullied overnight based on unproven allegations. Film and TV roles dried up as producers distanced themselves. Lucrative endorsement contracts were terminated. With his career in tatters and no end to the scandal in sight, Lee fell into a deep depression, confiding to close friends that he felt hopeless and feared he could never recover from this episode. By late December, after cooperating with multiple interrogations and invasive bodily tests that failed to turn up any hard evidence of drug use, Lee appeared emotionally broken. Following the 19-hour police questioning session, an experience his lawyer later called abusive and unjust, the actor returned home in a profoundly distressed state. Two days later, he took his own life. The news of Lee's death sparked an outpouring of grief, along with much soul-searching and finger-pointing. Many in the entertainment industry spoke out to honor his memory and legacy, sharing personal stories of his talent, generosity, and warmth as a colleague. Fans held candlelight memorials and flooded social media with tributes to his work and compassionate spirit. At the same time, serious questions emerged about the conduct of the police, the media, and the general public in the scandal. Lee's family, friends, and legal representatives blasted the investigation as a witch hunt fueled by flimsy, self-serving allegations from unreliable witnesses with axes to grind. They criticized authorities for blindly pursuing the salacious drug angle while disregarding ample evidence that Lee was the target of a shameless shakedown by unscrupulous grifters. Media ethics also came under fire, with many observers noting the reckless, one-sided nature of much of the scandal coverage. Critics lamented the tendency of news 
news outlets to lean into tawdry gossip-mongering and sanctimonious moralizing at the expense of fact-based reporting, proportionality, and basic decency towards the human being at the center of the story. Some wondered if more restrained, responsible coverage could have eased Lee's distress and even altered the tragic outcome. Intense scrutiny also fell on the vicious, sometimes gleeful online chatter surrounding the scandal. Commentators noted the unsettling speed with which anonymous masses feel empowered to act as judge, jury, and executioner towards public figures accused of misconduct, often based on partial information. They argued that cyber pylons, with their A, rush to condemn and punish at all costs, create an environment profoundly hostile to due process, nuance, and compassion. Cultural critics also weighed in on the broader implications of the tragedy. Some framed it as a cautionary tale about the impossibly high ethical standards and suffocating lack of privacy celebrities face in the digital age. Others pointed to South Korea's especially unforgiving, morally rigid celebrity culture and intensely image-conscious social fabric as factors that fuel public appetite for star scandals and leave targets with little margin for error in managing their reputations. Blackmail and extortion also emerged as issues ripe for societal soul-searching in the aftermath of the Lee case. Legal experts noted the need for more robust tools to allow law enforcement to pursue extorters who weaponize sensitive personal information. Advocates called for harsher penalties for blackmail to reflect the immense psychological, financial, and reputational damage the crime can inflict. Mental health professionals urged greater public awareness of the severe emotional and even physical health toll of blackmail on victims. Ultimately, Lee Sun Kyun's tragic story underscores the vital necessity of extending public figures' basic fairness, proportion, and empathy in times of controversy, recognizing their humanity even from behind the distorting lens of fame. It reminds us of the awesome, sometimes destructive power of public opinion, especially when amplified by digital networks, and the responsibility we all bear to wield that power judiciously. It highlights the urgent need to build social antibodies against the kind of burn-it-all-down outrage cycles that can thoughtlessly destroy lives and livelihoods. Perhaps one step we can all take is to cultivate more humility in our harsh, reactive judgments of celebrities ensnared by scandal, to recognize the full, flawed humanity behind the headlines. Remember that we are rarely privy to all the facts, and consider the suffering of all involved before we join the digital stampede to condemn. In this way, while we cannot change the heartbreaking outcome for Lee Sun Kyun, we can strive to make something positive out of this senseless tragedy. We can work to build a culture with more guardrails of decency, one that exercises more restraint and humanity towards public figures in crisis, so that more people can find a way forward in their darkest moments instead of being driven to the unthinkable. Hey, thanks for tuning in. What are your thoughts on this tragic case? How could it have been prevented? Do you know similar stories? Let me know your thoughts in a comment. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and check the next video.